Good morning, YouTube family. Paul Phillips Fix here. Uh, doing a different kind of project here today. And this will even screw my back up. I'll be out of commission for a day. Uh, doing a G counter stop stove. We're changing a uh, valve on there. Just finishing this one thing up. We did other valves, but this is the first time I'm filming any of it. Hopefully it'll be helpful to somebody. What size torque tip is that? 20? 25. 25? That's a T25. You gotta lift these pilots up. You gotta lift them up. Get the wire outside and unplug them. And take all of these T25 Torx tips out. You got a needle nose or something? Plier or something? I have a screwdriver. Be gentle with these, they'll crack. I'm just getting it up enough so I can get my finger on it. Yeah, so your head's bigger. Yes. You see? Happened? No, I'm putting the outside heads there. The outside edge ones, right? Yes. Where? There? There, and that's the inside. All right. Those are for the burners. Yes. Got to lift this gently. This light needs to be disconnected here. Got to pull the two connectors off. Do not try to lift this without taking all these torques out. It would snap one of the gas lines. Frankie Dangers here working. <laughs> right, Frankie Danger? Yep. screwing. Yeah, those are magnetic. I gotta get those connectors off. You know what? I'm just going to slide this light off like I did last time. You can slide that boot off or disconnect the connectors. You can slide the boot right off. See that? This lifts right out. Let me show them something. All right, these lift right up. 
first ones pull off. On this lower one, you got to get a pick tool and get in the back there. There's two uh, clips that retain that. If you try gorilla in that off, it's going to get busted. I got a set of pick tools here. I use a 90 degree pick to get in the back there. Get one side off at a time. Now this is screwed on. You gotta take that. You gotta remove these little quarter inch nuts of uh, bolts here that hold this manifold down. All the valves screw right into the gas manifold. You'll see when I pull the valve off how it looks. Do not think you could just replace a valve with any valve. They're very specific with location, so you have to get the proper part number. For the location, you go on the GE website, and they'll give you an exploded view of the uh, stove, and you'll get to see which valve it is, and then order that by number. There goes the number for this one. That's the bottom right, the furthest one. I need the Torx. No, that's a quarter. This is a quarter inch. Uh, I'll lift this up a little bit. And there's a quarter inch retainer here, a little bolt. It goes, oh, I'm taking the wrong valve off. What am I doing? I thought I was on the wrong side. Excuse me, it's early. We didn't shut the gas off, my man. Nope. Jesus Christ. Shut the gas off first. <laughs> We're jumping the gun. We're rushing here. He's got to go to a funeral today. Where's the latch? Right there. Oh, my back. Don't get a bad back. Anything you do knocks you out of commission for days. Doing a stupid little job like this, bending over wind up having me crippled for two days. It's not even a job, it's a favor actually. All right, this bolt comes out, then your valve removes right out of there. You gotta get a wrench, adjustable wrench, disconnect that line. Counterclockwise thread, standard kind of thread, not opposite like the gas is a lot of times. If you see here, there's a rubber seal on the back of the valve that seals it up to the manifold as you tighten it with that retaining bolt. That looks better, right? Yeah.
try to get that close to where it's got to line up so you don't have to twist that line too much. Tighten the manifold back down and reassemble. Pretty simple. Just a nuisance getting this thing back together, hooking the pilot lines on and everything. It's just a little aggravating. Take your time, be gentle. Sometimes the harnesses go, and you have to lift this up. What happened? Sometimes the harnesses go. Yeah, if the harness yeah. goes bad. If one goes bad, you got to replace this You got to replace line. the entire harness, which you can order. Oh, this plastic goes above here. It's got little spaces in there for the clips go behind it. clips on that other mechanism there. I don't know how it goes this way. That way. Like that. Now what do you need now? The top of the stove. Putting it back together. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that light in. Yeah, you get the light on. Well, let me do that last. Let's get the pilot wires in. Yeah. Get your pilot wires up through their holes. Gonna have to guide them back in there. There's little clip retainers that hold the pilots to the uh, burner. Gonna have to feed that wire back down inside as you're replacing the cover. Or else they'll get kinked in there and the uh, top won't go back on properly. You clip that light back on. too much because no, you got to feed it back. That uh, middle one stays like that one? Yes. Yeah. Don't get too much wire out because you got to feed it back in. I'm going to feed that wire back down in there. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Folding or is it going in? It's folding. It's all folded. Yeah. It's folding on the top of the burner. That's why I told you don't pull that much out. Okay. Pull that much wire out. It's going to fold on that burner. Yeah. Yes. It, now it's right there. Okay. Kind of wet. Get rid of it. Sometimes if you rotate the wire back and forth, it'll help guide it back down in there. Something's not lining up. Yes, this is going to be. I wouldn't 
clip them down yet. Leave them out, Frank, a little bit. Get the screws in first. Let's start it. You don't even have to start it. Where's the Torx driver? I wouldn't tighten any one of these down all the way. Just get them started first. Then snug the three of them up. I need more screws. strip these out easy. Somebody stripped one of these screws out on here already, I remember. You gotta be careful that you thread it in right, seize it in, get them all started, then snug it up. And don't drop a screw down the hole, because then you gotta go through pulling the whole to stove top off again. Haven't done that yet, don't want to do it. Secure it and push your pilot light in. Give him a wiggle, helps him go in. These ain't up. What happened? These ain't lining up. Should line up. I'll get it. Yeah, it's easy with the screw. Let me get in there. Get that one that's... Get this one. Because that's holding it wrong, I think. It's outside of the frame. Yes. It's got 
a hole in here that goes over the pilot light. I believe. Yep. Small, small as I think. Then these have this detents in them. That's where the pilot goes. Rest right on there. Detent. to be on right otherwise they and no knobs those are 25 bucks a piece put a new knob on a new valve where's the other new valve we replaced What's the other new valve we replaced? Right here. Good. I'm going to put new knobs on both of them. Oh, this is the bad one, right? What? Bad knob? Probably the cracked one, right? I'm keeping these Ziploc bags. Okay, YouTube family, that's how you replace a valve on a GE countertop uh, stove. I hope uh, that was some useful information for you guys. Please give a like and subscribe. Uh, any emails or comment, anybody want to email or comment, feel free to do so. You can contact me at paulphillipsfix at gmail.com. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. It works. Look, it works. Everything works. works. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bye, guys. Good luck. If we can do it, you can do it. I'm stealing lines from the guy from South Main Auto. I think he'll get over it.